Hey everyone, Kathy Zilski here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Do you ever struggle with background stamps, red rubber cling? If you do, stick around. I've got two really easy card projects to share with you today that anyone can do. Do you ever get your hands on a background stamp and you love it and you think it's so beautiful and then you realize that to stamp it down and color it might just be a bit above your pay grade? That is how I feel every time I see a floral background stamp. But today's card projects gave me an opportunity to not color and just keep it really simple. Just stamping in one color ink can be surprisingly elegant and it is so easy to do. Let's take a look at the products I'm using today. This is the stamp I fell in love with and this is called So Beautiful, a lovely stamp from Simon Says Stamp. And I love the floral designs and I knew I'm gonna have a horrible time coloring this. So I decided to get creative, well, by simplifying. I've got a couple inks here that I'll be using for the main cards that I'm sharing. And for my sentiment today, I'm just going to use a die. This is from the mom and dad die set that I designed for Simon. I'm gonna make a card for my dad. For cardstock today, I've got some Audrey Blue to match my ink, a little Craft, and some Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound weight. I'll also be using these pre-printed sentiments for both card projects today. I'll be using my Misty Stamp Positioner tool today, and I'm gonna take out the pad and the paper inserts, get those out of the way, because with a cling stamp, these thicker stamps, you have to remove that insert pad. And what I like to do is place the cling side right inside the Misty. I don't like putting the stamp on the door. Instead, I'm going to position my cut piece of cardstock, and this is cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm gonna use some low-tack tape. This is purple tape from ThermoWeb. I'm gonna pop the tape and smooth it down right onto the cardstock. And then what I'm gonna do is pick up the paper with the Misty door. The reason I like doing it this way is because it's just easier to press the paper into the stamp to get a great impression. So I'm going to take my Audrey Blue ink, and this is also Audrey Blue cardstock. So I'm going for this tone on tone look. I'm gonna ink up the stamp really well, get a nice coating of that blue. Then I will take the door, flip it down, and then I use a Swiffer cloth so that my hand can easily slide to have even smooth pressure. It's just easier than you know having your fingers stick. But you slide over, press that paper right into the stamp, and there's impression number one. Now the beautiful thing about the Misty, you can hit it again with more ink, press it down again, and now I will have an absolutely perfect impression on the cardstock. Isn't that pretty? It's so simple, but you don't need to add any color to something like this. This itself creates a beautiful monochromatic pattern. I'm cutting a panel using one of my favorite dies. This is the A2 Layers die from Waffle Flower. Just trimming that down a little, and now we'll move on. With the die cut machine out, I'm going to cut the shadow layer and a few of the dad words out of some cardstock. And once I have those cut out, I'm going to glue them together with some liquid glue. So I just die cut three of the dad cutout words, and that is the Nina Solar White 110 pounds, so it's really nice and sturdy. And I will glue these together, and I like using the liquid glue because it gives you a little bit of play time to wiggle it into place so it's perfectly lined up. And then I will repeat with the third dad and then mount those onto the shadow layer. For my sentiment, I'm going to use Miss You So, but I'm going to use one of my sentiment label dies. These will perfectly cut out the sentiments on these pre-printed sentiments. And the thing that I love about these sentiments, there is no stamping required. They are white crisp ink on black. Well, they're printed black. Ah, looks so good. And then I keep all of the loose pieces just in a little storage pocket so I don't lose any of the sentiments. For my card base, I'll score this at five and a half inches. It's going to be US A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I tape my card bases closed just because I don't like them to pop up when I am adding my elements. Now these sentiments are printed on white cardstock, so they have a white core. I like to take a dark pen. This is a Copic marker, T10 is the color. And I just go over the edges to create this black core cardstock look really easy to do. 
I've got foam tape on the back of my panel so I can pop that up on the card base with a nice quarter inch of white space framing that beautiful simple pattern. I've got some thin foam squares on the back of my die cut and I will line that up right in the center in the lower portion of the panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop up with the same depth of foam, thin foam squares, the Miss You Sew. Get that lined up. The clear T-square really helps for perfect alignment of elements on the card. And that's it. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not adding a single thing to this card. I'm going to send this to my dad and I think he's going to love it. And I love it because I took my background stamp and I kept it really simple, but the results I think are fantastic. Let's move on to the next card project. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's the same idea. We're just going to take some different inks. So I'm going to ink this up with some Simon Black ink pressed down right into the cardstock and this ink pad transferred beautifully. Look at that impression. I did hit it one more time off camera and now to create this card. So I've got my dot runner and what I'm going to do here is run it all over the back of the stamp panel. My card base has already been folded down but here's a little tip that I like to share and it's using score buddies to line things up like full-size card panels. All you do is press the card base and the panel into that corner and you are perfectly lined up so that your panel is now on your card base. Easy peasy and breezy. Great tip. And then I'll add a little sentiment. This is from the Reverse Sympathy. I think this is a very elegant, simple, understated sympathy card and these little sentiment strips can be used for so many different types of card projects. And that's that. I suppose it would be cute too to color in one of the flowers, but that was, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it simple. Now this is another cling stamp, Peony Bouquet, and it looks like that when it's stamped and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go with the same effect. So I took some Gina K Designs Innocent Pink and stamped it down onto some Innocent Pink cardstock. Her inks also work so beautifully together, creating this really lovely tone on tone. This is so simple, but it is a very elegant and understated way to use a cling background stamp on a card project. So there they are. Very, very simple. Nothing too hard, right? This is, anyone can stamp down something in one color, and I just really love the way these cards turned out. So I hope it inspires you to take a look at some of those cling stamps you have, and don't overthink. Don't overthink it. Keep it really simple and you will emerge with some beautiful, understated, and classic card designs. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.